Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to the seventh part of the series of tutorial WordPress 101 for beginner developers. Welcome again. The topic of this tutorial is post formats. So in the past few weeks, I received a lot of requests, a lot of questions about post formats. And I totally understand why people are really interested in this topic, uh, mostly because with post formats, you have the real ability, um, a good and amazing <laughs> ability to uh, properly customize your team and create a really unique theme experience so as a developer knowing how to activate and use specific post formats is really important um, but what's a post format just as an example let's take a look at my website of course what's the better way to advertise my website um, alicat.com if you do have some free time and you want to read some really silly blog posts. Anyway, if you take a look at the um, first page is a simple index with a blog loop, nothing special. You will notice that sometimes the format of the um, preview of a blog post is slightly different. So by default, I have a featured image. If you go on top, you have the rollover with the link to the actual blog post and a little icon on top that symbolizes the category of the blog post. If you go, if you take a look and you go at page two, you will notice that the first post doesn't have the same look. So you don't have a featured image, you don't have a rollover, but you actually have a slider with different pictures. If you scroll down, you will notice that you have another type of visualization, another type of post look. Uh, that is a, an actual video that you can actually play straight in the first page without going inside um, the actual blog post. Uh, how did I do that? Super simple, I use post formats. So a post format is a piece of meta information that can be used by a team to customize its, the presentation of its own posts. To activate the post format feature, we have to use a team support hook. We already talked about the team support in the previous lesson, the lesson number six. So if you don't know what's a team support hook, what's a team support hook is, please take a look at the previous video, or if you don't care, just keep going with this tutorial, but I really suggest you to take a look at what's a team support and how to uh, activate team support for your uh, personal teams. But anyway, let's access our functions.php. You will notice here we have our team support functions, team support hooks that we activated the previous lesson we can activate through another team support hook the post formats. So let's do it right away without too much thinking and too much talking. Add team support as a string as usual, post formats. So with this, just this statement is not enough. We need to specify what kind of post formats we want to activate because WordPress doesn't have a single post formats but comes with nine different post formats and we have the ability to specify which post format we want to activate. By default, WordPress doesn't activate any of these post formats. It gives us the ability to select which one we want to use. So if we just save this and we access our personal team administration panel, we go into the post page, we access one single blog post, we're gonna see that on the right sidebar, we have the format table for to select the post formats, but we don't have any options because we didn't specify any post formats. Um, also, just a quick um, adds up, if you don't see this, even if you activated the theme support, probably it's because you have in the screen option on top of your page here, the format option deactivated. This is a custom visualization that WordPress gives everyone the ability to customize the experience. So if you don't see something, even if you activate it through the file, the functions file, before panicking, just take a look at this section to customize your experiences. If by default you have 
this option unchecked. So it means that the format is there, but it's just hidden. So just that, let's not, don't panic. Um, anyway, as I said, we have to specify what kind of post formats we want to activate. WordPress gives us the ability to activate nine different post formats, such as a side, gallery, link, image, quote, status, video, audio, and chat. These nine post formats are the only supported formats of WordPress. Unfortunately, uh, as it is now for on um, WordPress 4.1.2, I think, we don't have the ability to create a custom post format. We can just use the preset one. So for now, just stick to that. And there are nine of them. So you have plenty of ability. You have all the options that you need to customize your experience. And probably in the future, we will have this option to create our own post formats. But for now, we can use this nine and we can cover pretty much every uh, case. We can think about it. So let's say I want to activate just three different post formats because I'm going to use just the trees. To do that, inside the team support, we can specify a second parameter that we have to put it after a comma. And the second parameter is an array with our different formats. So let's open our array and let's specify that I want to activate the aside image and the video post formats. As you notice inside the array, all these variables, they have to be a string. Remember, always put inside single quote as a string. Don't forget it, or it's not gonna work, you're gonna break your team, but let's save it. Let's go back to our blog post administration panel. Let's reload the page and see inside the format table, now we have all the options that we activated. So aside, image, and video. Also, we have the standard option. And you notice this is a red radio button, so we cannot deselect a post format. Uh, every blog post, they have to be a post format set. They cannot be without post format. So by default, it's standard. We cannot add it. We don't need to activate the standard blog post by default. It means activated is the standard, is the default uh, post format of every blog post. And then we have the other team, the other formats that we activated. As you notice here, we have our little nice icon to gives us the ability to recognize right away without reading what kind of post format our post is. Um, so let's say that this post, I want to be in a side post, update. The pancakes recipe, I want to be an image. And the last one, I want to be just a standard post format. So as you can see here, we have the same icons. So if we click, we can filter and see all the aside posts or the images post. And it's just nice to see, <laughs> it's a, a good feature. Uh, let's go back, let's go in our blog page where all the blog role is. So how can we access now the post format, super simple. Let's open the index.php and inside the post loop, as we did before, we have access to specific functions that are called specific part of our post, as the title called the title, the content called the actual content, time, post, thumbnail, and the category. We can also call the post format. And to do that, we can just use This is the format. Let's bring just a string to see what kind of post format is. Get post format. Save it. Reload. This is the format. And as you can see, we have a side for the first one, image for the second, and empty for the third because it's a standard. So the standard post format returns an empty string. 
this is really important and you're gonna know why right away. So now with this post format, we can customize our experience. We can use a different file for a different format. Um, we can use these information however we want. We can check with an if, we can do like if post format equal aside, we can customize the visualization, we cannot print something, we can include something else or whatever, we can change the markup. Um, but the really powerful thing about post format is the ability to include through a template part inclusion, different files inside our team based on the post format. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna use uh, another functions that WordPress gives us and is the get template part. Template part, the function get template part gives us the ability to include without using include or require from PHP, a specific part of our team inside our base directory. So if we create a file, new file, and we call it content.php, we're gonna use this content.php as the standard post format. So let's say I want this to be the standard post format, I just passed it here. Let's format it a little bit. So now I have the actual markup of my blog post inside the content.php file and inside the index.php file, I'm gonna include that content with the get template part. And to do that, I just have to write content and Let's reload. And as you can see, nothing changed because the blog post loop, it's calling the content.php file and it's gonna print through the loop all these informations with the content.php markup. To, just to see if it's actually printing that, just comment this part and let's say just post. So now we should see three times the post word and no content, no markup, because we change. So post, 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 and no content, no markup. So we have the proof that it's working. Now that we did this, we have the ability to customize and include a different type of content file based on the post format. To do that, we have to just specify a second parameter on the get template part. The second parameter can be the actual post format. So as we notice, as we saw before, um, the post format is gonna return a string with the actual post format. So a side, image, video, or nothing. So if it returns nothing, this parameter is empty and it means the get template part is gonna include the content.php. But if it returns, for example, a side, the get template part is gonna look for a file called content-aside.php. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna create that file, content-aside.php. And just because we used also the post format image, let's create right away the content image file. Content-image.php. So let's open the aside file. Let's copy the markup. And let's say that in the content aside, I wanna just the title, but I don't want the post thumbnail and I don't want the content. I wanna just the title and the meta information of my blog post. And just as an example, we can write that this is an aside post. inside the h3 tag. We can do the same for the content image. 
And for the content image, we say because it's a content image, I want just the title and the post thumbnail if, of course, the blog post has a thumbnail. Let's save it. And let's say in the title, let's say image post. So we know oh, if I'm able to write posts properly. So we're going to know that this is an image post content file. This is an aside content file. And this is a standard content file. Let's take a look in our blog post, in our blog page, reloaded. And you see the first one, because it's an aside, it's calling the aside template. The second one, because it's an image post, is going to call the image template part, so content-image. The third one, because it's a standard, so it's empty, it's going to call the content.php standard without any extension. And this is really powerful. This simple code here in the index to include the template part based on the post format gives you the ability to customize the experience based on the selection of, a of the user inside the backend. So if the user want to change the post, temp the post format, you can give the user a completely different experience based on his selection. Uh, let's say that this one, I want to be an aside. And the first one, just because the first one has a featured image, I want to be an image. So update it, refresh. And see, the first one turns just changed as an image post, the second one as an aside, and the third one is still a standard. See how easy it is to change and implement different content template based on the post format. So always remember this. Let me zoom it. Create content dash postformat.php and inside your blog loop you can call the template part content as the first part and the second part the post format remember that this doesn't have to be content i just use content because i always use content is a like preset format that wordpress gives you from like some team you can find it in the underscore team or some pre-made team like in 2015 but you can use whatever you want you can use post and the get template part is going to look for the file post dash aside or post dash image dot php doesn't have to be content so the first part can change the second part is based on the post format selected by the user in the back end and this is really powerful and also that's it for this lesson i hope you enjoyed it i hope you understood properly how to use the post format and how to use the get template part to highly customize your team experience and as always i remind you i remind every user that this is just a tutorial for a beginner developer so i'm not touching the advancing functionalities of the post format that you can attach a specific for post format to a custom post type that we're gonna see in the future this uh, advanced techniques for now this is really basic stuff for newly developers for someone that never touched WordPress on a developer point of view and it wants to start creating a simple team so uh, take it as it is like super simple super basic notions of WordPress development uh, but I invite you to push forward. Don't stop at this tutorial. Now you have the basics and you have the basic understanding on how to activate a post format and how to create different template part for different post format. Now keep going. Keep going activating all the post formats and creating different styles for different post formats. And just push forward. Don't stop. Never be satisfied in learning and keep questioning everything and of course if you have question if you didn't understand something and if you want me to do a more in-depth lesson about uh, custom post formats please leave it a comment below ask what you want and what you actually need and of course as usual if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or share this video from facebook google plus whatever 
And as I said, again, if you have any questions, just leave it a comment. I will try to answer everyone. And thank you again for checking this video and see you next time.